Ahead of any possible snow or ice, crews have been scrambled to treat George's roads. Mara Sirianni joining us live now. And Mara, you met up with Mayor Andre Dickens as he got a preview of how Atlanta plans to respond to all of this. Yeah, Sheba, it's nice and it's not too cold out right now, but behind me, 5,500 tons of salt. You can hear crews in the parking lot here at Atlanta DOT working, and the message from them is we're ready. Loading up the trucks, getting them ready to hit the road. Friday morning, Mayor Dickens and Atlanta DOT Commissioner Josh Rowan laying out the city's plan for weekend winter weather. We're getting ready today on Friday, being ready, watching the forecast, because if it snows, um, that's one thing, but if it's ice, that's another thing. Dickens says Atlanta DOT has in-house and contracted resources ready to go, including 40 pieces of snow equipment, more than 22,000 gallons of brine, about 5,500 tons of salt. They also have gravel, sand, and manpower, with 300 employees ready to rotate on two shifts. We have crews scheduled to come in, about 150 people at 1 a.m. on Sunday. Rowan's team is keeping a close eye on the forecast. He says when it comes down to brining the roadways, it's still too early a fluid situation going into the weekend. We typically will not brine if rain is forecast because it'll wash off of our streets. In DeKalb County, Public Works officials say their crews will first and foremost be focused on keeping major roadways clear for emergency vehicles. Our first priority is clear the tree off the roadway to make the roadway passable for traffic and emergency transportation. Cobb DOT says crews are ready to treat hundreds of miles of roads beginning Saturday around 6 p.m. An added challenge, COVID infections and absences are stretching healthy winter weather crews thin just when they're needed most. We do at Cobb DOT have enough two full shifts, so we're going to keep those going and just overlap them. Mayor Dickens says the city has also experienced staffing issues, but they've been proactive in getting ready for this weekend. We have contractors on standby and individuals from other departments all being able to work together. And now we're giving you a different vantage point. This is a look at the parking lot. You can see some movement down there. The salt and brine trucks crew say they're also well, working to uh, get ready for cleanup because they do expect that even after the snow and ice melts, there could uh, potentially be some down trees and power lines and power outages um, causing some, again, cleanup efforts that they could have to tend to. So that's also something that is on their radar. It's going to be a busy weekend for them. Mara, thank you.